back to the prayer? Y yes, Celestin. Okay, praise God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, this time we get to spend with your word, Lord. Lord, we are gathered here, not for any other purpose, Lord, but only because we want to study your word, only because we want to learn your word, and only because, Lord, we love you. Lord, we have this intimate relationship with you. And we want to know you more, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this time, this opportunity to we get. And Lord, as we are studying this word, we are not only studying this word out of our own intellectual knowledge, but we are studying the word because through the Holy Spirit, through the ability of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is the one who teaches us. Through. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And Lord, you guide us, you lead us, okay. you continue to teach us, and you give us the revelation of your word. And Lord, as you have studied your word, you are confirming this word with signs, wonders, practical examples, and real life testimonies. So that Lord, we understand how this word works practically in our day to day lives. In Jesus' name we pray above Father. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise Thank God. You, Okay, so praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. So, do you remember what we were studying yesterday? What we were seeing? What we were learning? Yesterday? Yes? Can I say? Anyone? Yeah. We were learning about hardness of heart. Yes, hardness of heart. Yes. Then what else? Hardness of heart, correct? Yeah. What else are we seeing? Is that it? That's collected. Pardon? I did not get that. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so yesterday we were seeing about hardness of heart. And we were seeing how the disciples' his heart was hardened. We were seeing the five loaves and two fishes among the 5,000 people, correct? Yes. And we were seeing how God multiplied, Jesus multiplied his fish and the loaves. And what he did, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples. He made them sit down upon the companies, upon the green grass, upon groups. Yes. Yeah. Praise God. Okay. So let's go to Mark chapter 6. Let's go back over there. Verse number 45. We had stopped at 44 yesterday, so we'll continue from there. Mark chapter 6. Verse 45. Is my voice clear? No, a little bit richy. Yes, it's fine for me. Okay, praise God. Okay. Immediately, he made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. Praise God. Okay, you know, keep it in KGV only. Thank you, Jesus. You know? Yeah. And straightway, he constrained his disciples to get into the so, here yeah, the word constraint means he forced them. He made them to get into the ship. He forced them and uh, did they obey? Yes. Now, how I like to see it is he was forcing them because they are expert in fishing. Right? Yes. They are expert fishermen and they know exactly about fishing and
side and to that side while i sent away the crowd the 5000 people more than 5000 people away praise god now and when he had sent them away he departed into a mountain to pray and when even was come the ship was in the midst of the sea and he alone on the land so here jesus is praying he went he departed into a mountain he was praying and there evening was there it means it was getting darker and darker and darker and the ship was in the middle of the sea yes yeah and he was alone on the land in the mountain correct yeah okay and he saw them toiling and rowing for the wind was contrary unto them and about the fourth watch of the night he cometh unto them walking upon the sea and would have passed by them then you know scroll down praise god okay but when they saw him walking upon the sea they supposed it had been a spirit and cried out so what is this meaning what does this mean they thought it was a spirit means they thought it was a ghost and they cried out example if you are in this situation okay and it is pitch dark because it's in the middle of the night okay and you are in the midst of the sea you can't see anything okay there is no light everyone is gone jesus is in a mountain praying no one is there you are alone and there are few people around you in that boat and you over there are in this boat and when you are in this boat you uh, you can see someone is walking upon the sea you can only see when there is lightning because it is pitch dark otherwise and when there is a lightning you see that there is some someone over there okay and now when you see that there is someone over there you must be thinking this is a ghost like the disciples how would your condition be we would be out of fear fear yeah fear unstable yes. we would be worried yeah. extremely unstable and not sure of our feelings you be unstable not sure about your feeling all that right yes yeah so your response would be scared afraid fearful worried even maybe heartbroken and all those things you will be feeling correct yeah okay so they all saw him and were troubled and immediately he talked with them and said unto them be of good cheer it is i be not afraid what did he say be not afraid and he went up unto them into the ship and the wind ceased and they were so amazed he is called down you know and they were this god and they were so amazed in themselves beyond measure and under for they considered not the miracle of the lord for their heart was hardened for their heart was hardened so it's very clear over here it is saying okay they fear they were worried they were in anxiety and now they saw jesus they thought this was a ghost and now they are seeing jesus and when they are seeing jesus okay they are so amazed in themselves because why are they amazed why are they amazed because, because how can no, we be jesus walking in the sea no need to scot yeah yes okay your voice is very what you said um he was walking because jesus was walking on the sea yeah because he is walking on the sea and he is coming over there now how many times uh have you ever heard this i'm in the same boat as you i can't do anything right have you ever heard that yes yeah i i heard that okay and you and you know what that means 
we are in the same boat means i am in the same problem as you and i can't do anything but it is only and only and only jesus that can help us now many times we try when we are in this boat we try to get out of the problem we try to get out of the situation and how do we try to do that with our own strength and our own ability correct yes but but for us here we see for them to get out of the storm they needed the ability of christ now the ability of christ was already put in them the ability of christ was already put in them but instead of using that ability of christ they were more full of fear full of worry full of anxiety and they were more scared and that's why they were not able to see what god has for them and that's why they had the power to even get out of that storm but because because of their fear that is what stopped them and that's why they could not get out of the problem how many times god has given us the ability but we try to use our own ability we try to use our own strength and try to get out of the problem which is impossible are you understanding how many of you understood mm. not your heads what is the uh, god's ability god's ability god's ability is his word because if i want to get out of the problem i can only use his word if you don't have the word of god then can you can you say okay i i can get out of the problem the problem has no power no you will be a you will be a a, a, a defeat because it's only the word that can set you free that's why we saw in john chapter 8 was 31 and 32 it is the truth it is the word that sets you free not your own ability not your own strength but the word of god the truth that sets you free press god are you understanding yes yes yeah yeah okay okay put that um yeah 52 or see this for they considered not the miracle of the loaves for their heart was hardened now how many times you know it happens like this our back is sealed our leg is sealed a problem is solved when we come to the retreat our leg is sealed everything is healed everything is solved when we go back home and after the we lord you heal me last week you heal me last week you heal me now do we the voice is breaking how many times your voice is breaking yeah your voice is breaking yeah i put my video off okay is that okay yeah yeah now it's fine yo yo for me your voice is breaking Yeah, I put my video off for now, and uh, once it's clear, then I'll turn it on again. Praise God. Okay, see this. So, for they consider not the miracle of the loaves. So, how many times we are healed? How many times do we speak? Do we think on and do we meditate on what God has already done? And how many times we think on the problem? And how many times we take that opportunity to grumble? Yeah. Do we do we focus on what God has already done for us, or do we go and uh, grumble and complain and say, "Lord, I, I have this problem. Lord, I have that problem." And how many times we go into fear? Praise God! Don't we? I've done that. We all do that. Praise God! Now, the word of God is saying over here they did not. consider so anyone knows what is the meaning of the word consider consider can yeah. i see wait there is a hand raised let me take that person tiny yeah consider means to ponder to examine to um 
to ponder to examine to learn to know to understand and to find did out I give you this did i give you this definition before yes you have given this definition before before yeah okay yes yeah consider okay yes yeah okay consider means to ponder to examine yes so if if you don't have the definition those who don't have please write it down consider means to ponder yeah you know i'll give you a chance consider means to ponder to meditate to examine to research yeah okay consider means to ponder right now to ponder to examine to examine to study to study to learn to learn to know to know to know to understand to understand to research to research to find out to find out to find out to meditate could you repeat yeah from where okay so consider means to ponder to examine to study to learn to know to understand to research to find out to meditate about something about someone or on something about about someone or on something press god could you repeat from to learn to learn okay to know to know to know to know to understand to understand to research to research to find out to find out to meditate to meditate about about someone about someone about someone or on something about someone or on something this a hand raised does anyone have any question praise god okay it's lord thank you jesus okay so if you see the disciples they were not pondering they were not considering what jesus was doing instead they were pondering and they were considering on the lack on the lack and that's why their their the focus was more on the lack than the promise of god praise god and that's why when 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 there was a problem when there was a situation when there was a um, you know a, a a problem a trial they were not focused on what jesus was teaching because jesus was teaching them the whole day before the miracle of the loaves happened jesus was teaching them but they were not focused on what jesus had taught them but instead they were focused on what the problem 
and that's what happens even with me i'm not only blaming you even on me it happens we what do we do we um we we we, we go we, we study the word we go we listen to the teaching but then soon soon so soon we get diverted more to the problem than the promise and because we get diverted to the problem now because we have more focused on the problem that's why uh, we don't see what god has for us are you understanding yes thank you jesus if their hearts were sensitive if their hearts were sensitive in the midst of trials they would expect for a miracle they would expect for jesus to come they would expect for something good to happen but but because they were not sensitive their hearts were not sensitive to god but their hearts were hardened to god to the word of god and their hearts were sensitive more to the problem that's why that's why now they were not able you know to focus on jesus instead they were soon diverted by the problem press cut is my voice clear now um, yes. yes 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 okay i'll turn mm. my video on press cut thank you jesus okay so you can write down some notes okay a hard heart a hard heart a hard heart is void of wisdom a hard heart is void uh, of wisdom can you repeat once again a hard heart is void of wisdom void of wisdom of wisdom judgment judgment sorry for that praise god okay a hard heart is void of wisdom judgment and understanding praise god we can harden we can harden we can harden a heart we can harden a heart we can harden a heart against the word of god we can harden a heart against the word of god i got disconnected enoch can you make me host i think the host access went to you i'm not able to paste the notes on the chat one minute yeah i'll make you co-host after that sorry alistair no 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 problem what i did not know by not considering it we can harden our heart against the word of god by not considering it by not considering it when we relate when we relate when we relate 
when we relate more to the natural realm more to the natural realm more to the natural realm than the spiritual realm when we relate more to the natural realm than the spiritual realm we have hardened our hearts we have hardened our hearts press god that's all can we from when we can you repeat from after spiritual can you repeat after when we when we it's all in the chat yeah nishanti has put it all in the chat thank you nishanti praise god okay so let's go back thank you jesus um okay praise god okay now uh if we don't get to finish this we'll continue it next week but we'll go and study something more okay now what we saw was mark 6 let's go to mark 8 now mark chapter 8 was 1 you know can you give me that mark chapter 8 was 1 yes praise god hallelujah okay see this in those days the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat jesus called his disciples unto him and said unto them i have compassion on the multitude because they have now been with me 3 days and have nothing to eat now here we saw there was a multitude there was no food correct again over here the similar situation happens okay the similar situation happen that there is a crowd a big multitude but there is no food and yeah jesus is giving them so many clues here i have compassion on the multitude first he saying i have compassion on the multitude because they have now been with me 3 days and have nothing to eat and if i send them away fasting to their own houses they will faint by the way for divers of them came from far jesus is trying to give them so many clues to tell them to explain to them what they have to do in the midst of trials yes yeah okay now here see the word of god okay they have now been with me how many days 3 days 3 days 3 days, days. days. here if we go for a 3 day retreat no 3 day retreat if we go and we are there we what we will say if papa johnson is preaching example or sister johnson is preaching sister johnson is preaching what we will say it's 130 Sister Josephine is not leaving for lunch. It is ten o'clock. She is not leaving to sleep, right? Come on, don't we say that? Yes. Yeah. Come on, don't we say that? Yes. 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 Yeah. It's so late. He is not leaving to sleep only. She is not leaving to sleep only. Yeah. Yeah. But if Jesus would be there in Sister Josephine's or Papa Johnson's place, no. he would go for 3 days 3 nights no food no bread nothing after 3 days he comes to realize that they have no food after how many days 3 days no bread there days. was no bread in the middle there was nothing after 3 days he realizes okay. and see what he saying okay he is giving them so many clues trying to explain so and his disciples answered him from whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here 
in the wilderness. Again, they are doing the same response. How can a man satisfy so many people with bread and that too in a wilderness? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Again, the same similar situation happened. And again, he still, you know, he's asking them, we don't have food and all that. Correct? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It was not charging. Praise God. Okay. Sorry for that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay. Now. No charging. Praise God. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Now, here it's saying, the same response there is the reply and satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness. And he asked them, How many loaves have you? And they said, Seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground and he took the seven loaves. Just scroll down, you know. Seven loaves and gave thanks and broke and gave to the disciples to set before them and they did set before them before the people now so here we see the word of god is clearly saying again the same situation happens where there is a big multitude there is no food and see the reply of the um, disciples they first the miracle happened they did not consider then Jesus came walking on water. That also did not expect. Then what happened? Then the same similar situation happened. That also they did not consider. Correct? Yeah. yeah. So here we see there are extra loaves. Extra two loaves, right? So should have extra faith. Correct? If there are extra two loaves, that means there should be extra faith. Correct? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. The people were less. The food was more, right? Yeah. Yes. The same situation happened. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So, and they had a few small fishes, and the blessed, and he blessed, and commanded to set them also before them. So, here we see a miracle happens. They just did not expect. Guess why? Do you, do you know why? Because their heart was hardened. Because their heart hardened. was hardened. How many hardened. times we see miracles? How many times we go to prayer meetings and we go and see miracles? We see deaf ears opening, blind eyes opening and so many miracles we see. But how many times our hearts are hardened? Even though we see hardened. Pardon? Yeah. Even we see so many miracles, but still our hearts are hardened. And that's the problem. Press God. Did you understand? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We will surely continue this next week on Friday. It's not finished. Because this is a very important thing. So please, please, please go and listen to the teaching again and uh, go and study it again, again, and again because this is very, very important. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Anyone has any doubts, any questions? Now's the time to ask. No. Alison, I have not thought about this uh, in from this angle. So that means actually the disciples, even though they were, were with Jesus, they their hearts were hardened. 
And nobody has any questions, right? Because for me, this was something quite different, which I hadn't thought of it in that time. So I, I was thinking, okay, they didn't believe, uh, you know, that Jesus was capable of uh, performing more miracles. But in actual, they were their hearts were hardened towards whatever they were hearing. Yeah. Thank you, Alistair. Nice teaching. We can probably close yes. with the prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us this wonderful truth. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to understand the secrets of your word. And Lord, as we have studied this word, Lord, we have confirmed the word with signs, wonders, practical examples, and you continue to give us more and more and more understanding of this truth, Lord. And Lord, help us to build up an intimate relationship with you, to build up an intimate fellowship with you. And Lord, as we have studied this word, this word has sunk deep into our hearts. And this word is going forth and helping us to make the right corrections, helping us to make the right, uh, to change our lives, to repent, to renew our mind and to come back to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, Abba Father. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Alistair. So see you. Okay, you said you will be there for this week also. Yeah. You'll be yes. attending, you said. Yeah. So see you all tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.